Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. Oh, it's winter time. This is very strange. I guess it's because uh, December just rolled over today, so that's probably... Do the seasons just go month by month? I'm not too sure. Alright, so um, last, last episode we took down the bug type gym, the bird with the, the giant afro. Uh, let's take a look to see if the route to our east is opened up now because I remember some like construction worker was blocking the way or something Yeah, so we're almost definitely not going to be making use of max just the more I think about it the more um, Two grass types seems like a, a terrible idea grass in general is just a uh, It's not a good type to oh sorry misclicked. It's just not a really a good typing to begin with like defensively it's weak against too many things, and offensively, it really just doesn't put in enough work. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Whatever, man. You you do you. So, I think this means we just go upwards, the route to the north of us. So, yeah, Baconator got leveled like crazy during that gym, so we'll probably send in Alvida instead. Okay, I think we're in okay shape, actually. You know, we're a little bit light on uh, party members, but... It doesn't seem like it's going to be too big of an issue. Like, I'm pretty sure that we're going... Oh, this guy. Who is he again? Oh, he has his own theme song. He must be important. Yeah, yeah, take a look. No problem. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're bringing out power of your Pokemon, sure, yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't read his name. Bring out power of Pokemon, bond, whatever. Oh! Oh, oh, wait, he's fighting me. Oh, no, he's fighting me on Route 4. Oh, I don't like that. Is this guy as strong as my rival? I'm really scared. Actually, are, am I due for a rival battle? Who's this? Okay, sure. So route four is this route, right? Pretty certain. Yeah, I think so. I, I know I didn't catch anything here. I remember very clearly. I just came in and fought this one guy and I backed out. Oh, the route is really short. He's right there. Oh, I'm scared. Maybe I'll send out Baconator first. How scared, how scared am I? I'm pretty scared actually. How's wrong with these guys? 16? 16 is still acceptable. This thing's a really good matchup. I got a super effective move. I hope um, Alvida actually continues to learn attacks. Some Pokemon are, are the types where once they evolve fully, they stop learning moves anymore. Like all the, the evolution stone Pokemon are like that. Like all their moves are learned in their pre-evolved form and then once you evolve them, they don't learn any more moves. So, I'm not too sure if Alvida is one of those. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure the happiness ones just follow the exact same progression. Oh, okay, so I learned Struggle Bug by myself, naturally. Is this even- is this worth getting over- I, I think it's better than Protect, at the very least. Maybe, like, one day there will be some super strong special attacker and I'll just have to wear them down using Struggle Bug. You know, you never know. What is this? Why am I so slow? Oh, it's a Quicksand! Oh, they can- there's cool stuff in here. I, I I know there's like that- that sand crocodile is in here. Come on, give it to me. Sand crocodile? Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's see what it is. Yeah? Yeah, sand dial. Oh, sand- sand crocodile. Sand dial, of course. Okay, I mean, I'm down to have a rock type. Why not? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just keep this guy in. Um, I'm scared to even struggle bomb. A uh, struggle bug might one-shot it, so I'm just gonna see if I can catch it straight up. I know this thing's defenses are paper thin, so okay, you know what? Whatever. Torment. What does it even do? I can't use items. Is that? I'm not too sure what torment does. It's very rarely seen move. Uh, I'll look it up later, maybe, or I'll look into it once I catch this dumb thing. Yeah. No. No. Okay. You know what? I have a, I have a weaker thing to send in here. Sure, yeah. Okay, trap me, no problem. Alright, we have a uh, young Max over here. Wait, I can't switch out? Ugh. Do you think Cut will kill? I don't want to risk it. Maybe let's see. Um, do I have Great Balls? We'll try Great Ball. I know this might be a little bit of a waste, but you know, I I'm not going to be using all these balls to begin with, so whatever. Okay, yes, nice. So, male crocodile. I think just Dundee, right? Dundee sounds good to me. I, I like that. Yeah, Dundee, I like the, the way that rolls off the tongue. Definitely very catchy. Let's take a look. Dundee. 
This is gonna be all caps because you know you don't you don't just calmly say Dundee. It's definitely an ex exclaimed term. Alright. My herd ears seems to say there's something dangerous about you. Okay. Oh, I really like all these different types of uh, trainers, you know, like the police guard, he has a bunch of little dogs uh, following him around. I think that's pretty cute. Intimidate? No intimidate. Alright, so it's flash fire? That's not a big deal. So this thing um, has two abilities. It's either intimidate, which we've seen multiple times, or it's, uh, it's flash fire, which basically makes it immune to fire attacks. And if you hit it with them, if you hit it with a fire attack, it, um, it boosts its fire type moves. Don't burn me. Okay, good. This should one-shot, pretty sure. Yeah, no problem. Holy always putting in the the finest of work. Okay. Herdier, sure. Send an Alvida, pretty sure. Ah. Yeah, Alvida is fine. Okay. How strong is Herdier these days? Let's see. Level 16? Yeah. I wonder how much this does. I'm pretty sure two it KOs. Like, I'm six levels above. If it doesn't, that's just really sad. Okay, no problem. No problem whatsoever. So, uh, following my my previous rule, I think I'm going to get my main team members up to 25, each of them, before I start leveling this, uh, this sand dial. It just doesn't seem... Uh, it doesn't seem conducive to the cause to try and split my interest that much. Oh, I have a dowsing machine, right? Let's, uh, let's put that on my... Let's put that onto my registered box as well. So what happens when I press the registered button? Oh, I used either. Oh, cool. I like this. So I think you only need to take this out one time, and it, it's it's on uh, for your entire run. As in, like, before you uh, close the game, it will always be open. So I'm just going to keep that open forever now, since the bottom screen is useless to me otherwise. Masculine? Oh, like, a bass that's masculine? Oh, I feel it, that's cool. Cool puns. This thing is, uh, you know, it's, it's a decent water type. I think it's supposed to look... Uh, well, it's supposed to be a bass, but it, it reminds me a lot like a piranha. I guess they just couldn't find a good pun for that. I don't know. No Magikarp this generation, I think, so none of the... The freebie experience that we're used to. Okay. More basculine? Okay, Psyduck, sure. No problem. Uh, makes me miss Sabrina, but actually not at all. Her sacrifice will always be remembered. Really, the only person I miss is Steve. I, I still feel bad about, about Steve dying to that stupid Rattata. That was ridiculous. It's fucking Bush, man. It's just like Bush is just always the one that brings misfortune to my life. Yeah, so Basculin, a uh, cool thing about them is the male and females look really different. You see this one's all blue and the other one was all red. No no difference in terms of uh, effectiveness, just a, a cool cosmetic change. Alright, Mystic Water, cool, cool. They gave me really good um, held items already. Like, pretty much one for each type, and um, as well as leftovers, of course. Okay, that's... I'm real scared of that guy. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, if I open my menu, it closes that. Okay, that's... That's not cool at all. Okay, so we're gonna... Um, we're gonna put on some potion, I think. Do I have potions? Yeah, I have potions. I'm just gonna heal uh, Holy up, just in case. I think we will send out Albedo first. I'm pretty sure I can take him. Oh, these are crustal. Crustle? Crustal? This is the evolved form of the uh, the rock bug thing from the uh, from the bug gym, from Berg's gym. I don't know what they are. Wait, what? Team Plasma said... Oh, okay. Like, oh, Colrus. This guy's Colrus, right? Yeah, yeah, this guy's a, like, was a Team Plasma official last, uh, last game, I'm pretty sure. I think so, anyway. He definitely looks like a Team Plasma guy, right? That's not just me, right? He definitely looks like a Team Plasma guy. Okay, so... Magnemite. Um, level 21. That's quite high. I'm gonna send out Baconator just because I don't want to spend years trying to, to whittle him down with Alvida. And I don't think he can do anything to touch me, right? Okay, sure. You know what? You, you do whatever you want. As long as the uh, Paralysis Gods don't fuck me once more. Flame Charge, which should, I think Flame Charge should kill. 
Spark? Okay, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. No problem. I'm already paralyzed. You can't do anything to me. Alright, good stuff. Now, hopefully it's something not another Magnemite. Oh, it has Sturdy. Okay, I totally forgot about that. Oh well, no big deal. We'll just Flame Charge again. Alright, alright, you know, you do you. Yeah, this is a really cool thing, actually. Sturdy in previous generations used to prevent you from getting one-hit KO'd by, like, like those moves like Fissure or Sheer Cold or whatever, like those moves that actually just one-hit KO you. But uh, in this generation, they made it so it's... If you're full health and you take a hit that would kill you, you don't get killed. That's what it now does. And it's really, really useful. It basically guarantees you two turns. And, uh, you know, that can be useful for a variety of situations. So I'm really glad that... Oh, it's another steel type. Okay. I'm really glad that um, Holy has that ability because if I ever need... Um, if I ever need to get two hits on something, I can rely on it to live at least one. Right, so this thing is the the gear Pokemon, the... It's quite infamous, actually, when 5th gen was released, people were, were whining about how poorly designed this generation was, and this gear Pokemon, along with the Ice Cream Cone one, is, were definitely two of the main offenders. Yeah, okay, sure. Kind, kind to them, yeah, grateful. Okay, sure. So these items, um, they say they boost a certain stat. Basically, they do the same as if you fought something that had high attack. So, if, like, protein, I think, boosts attack. It, it gives you the same amount of uh, a boost as fighting, like, two or three Pokemon with high attack. It's, it's not as useful as you would think, because once your Pokemon gets... Once you use your Pokemon to uh, a certain point, these things just don't have any effect anymore. Oh, this thing, I remember. Darum... Darumaka? Because it's like a Daruma doll. The... I don't know where Daruma comes from. I think it's the Japanese word for like the Russian Matryoshka dolls or whatever. Do I paralyze heal this thing? Whatever. I'm, I'm just gonna roll through with Alvida. I, I believe. I believe. There shouldn't be anything too scary here. Yeah, so uh, though that thing is actually quite strong too, but I'm... have 158 or greater. What the fuck? That's so specific. Oh, okay. So they, they these people are just... Um, here for certain stats, I think. Okay, sure. Oh, these are new houses! That's what they were trying to tell me earlier. Like, Route 4 has a bunch of new condos being constructed. So in black, these things weren't here. This was just like a, a whole desert area. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. Maybe one of these people will give me something free. Some goodies. Cottony for my petal. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll take that. I don't want Max anyway. Fuck Max, dude. <laughs> That's what the back of it looks like. It's cool. Yeah, Petalil, I remember I used this thing too. It evolved into like this flower Pokemon that um, that can boost itself really well. And uh, it, it's not that strong, but it was always fun to use the boosting moves. Petulia. I like that name, actually. That's, that's a really cool name. Petulia. Alright. Sure, no problem. Sandstorms are terrible. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, weather is uh, always really... No oh, there's a Pokeball in there. That's that's for me right there. I'm just going to take stuff from your house. I'm just a robber. No big deal. Yeah, this is another held item. Not very useful. I think it raises the accuracy of moves. So, you know, pretty much useless because most most of the moves that you want to be using are 100% anyway. And, uh, you know, most of the time you won't need to rely on something that's less than 100. Okay, sure, yeah. On Thursday, some Pokemon fly here. Okay, well, today is Friday, so you're not helpful at all. I don't know what that means. I'm not coming back here on Thursday. Oh, nice, citrus berries. These are just slightly better orange berries. Yeah, speak with people, good things will happen, I agree. Since I already have leftovers, I'm pretty certain that there won't be another one in the trash can, so I'm just not going to check them anymore. Who is this? What is he doing? Oh, wow, look at that. It's like a... A whole highway going on. I really like this game because it feels like um, like more modern. Like it's very me metropol me metropolitan. I didn't hear what you said at all. Oh shit, I'm supposed to know. Levani? Yeah, I got him. Oh nice, okay cool. Alright, well this is, this is a useless item. This basically lets you run away for... Like it lets you run away guaranteed. You use it in battle and then you just leave. Uh, so not very useful at all. I don't know why they introduced this item really, like, it. I don't know of any, 
Like, I don't know anybody that has ever used this to any good effect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know about this. Okay, sure. Okay, battle me. No problem. There's another guard. Oh, don't have no another Growlithe. I don't want to deal with that. Growlithe? Not Growlithe, please. No Growlithe. Okay, cool. Really. No problem. Fighting Pokemon are not a big deal at all. Although these things are, are really strong. They're, you know, they're making me a little bit nervous. Definitely a good reason to get my main party up to 25 first. Ah, good old Alvida coming through in the clutch as usual. Okay, Growlithe, no problem. Come on out, Holy, this is your time to shine. <sighs> Just took another sip of water there. It's very dry here, and uh, I'm from Vancouver. It's uh, it's actually a really cold year here. Usually, uh, this city is a lot more temperate than the rest of Canada. You know, Canada is known for its uh, like huge snowy terrain, very cold. But Vancouver never really gets too cold. It's uh, the coldest year I can remember is probably like negative 10 Celsius. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. Who uses Fahrenheit even? And, uh, you know, this year is pretty cold, so it's been getting really dry as well. Let's take a look. So this is basically, it points you in the direction, and then when you're there, it, yeah, it, when you're there, it, it does that. So I don't know what these shards do. I'm pretty sure they're just there for money, but not certain. Okay, you know, whatever. More trainers, good for me. I hate that these guards all have like the same things. I was just saying how it was cool that they're all dog themed, but I just really don't want to face Growlithe. Anything else is fine. All right, no problem. Oh, now that I, now that I think about it, Riolu is a dog too. I just realized that. That's really cool. Ah. All right. Wow, that did nothing. Jesus. Okay, this this he shouldn't be able to do too much to me either. I hope. Maybe if he works up again, then I'm fine. I don't think a stab headbutt kills here. Oh, it's tackle. Okay, that definitely doesn't kill. Although that did do a lot. Holy shit. All right, does this kill? If it doesn't kill and he crits me, I might die. Okay, that's good. No problem. Just being a little bit paranoid, you know, trying to cover all my bases as usual. Nice. Lots of attack boosts, actually. Yeah, see, that level I got three attack. You know, you saw earlier that... Well, I actually probably didn't see earlier, but the last few levels I was getting one to two attack each level just because uh, uh, Alvida's attack stat is decent, but not that great. But because everything on this route boosts attack, uh, I've been getting attack like crazy. Or right, everything on this route that I've been fighting has a lot of attack. So uh, when I leveled up, I got a lot more attack than usual. Well, one more point, but you know, percentage wise, that's that's quite a bit. Alright, uh, we'll open up the Dowsing Machine again. Nice. So it's right here? Right here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, God. These stupid wild Pokemon battles. Okay, I wouldn't want this thing either. I think this thing's hilarious. Its cry is, is literally a fart. Like, it's a garbage bag that sounds like a fart. Like, this is another one of those Pokemon that they're, you know, people are just like, Oh, Nintendo, you know, you're doing so poorly. You're just clear, just running out of ideas, but... I think it's quite cool. It's like one of those um, more environmental pollutant kind of things. Let's take a look. You know, it's fitting that the the, the big city version of the game has a uh, trash Pokemon. You know, tons of trash bags and stuff. The previous versions were definitely more um, like more naturey. The 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 towns were very very small and uh, felt kind of like villages instead of big cities. I like these gangsters too, you know, they all wear the, the sandile jackets, it's very interesting. Venipede, a little bit of an issue just because I don't have anything good to hit it with, but, you know, I'll cut it to death, whatever. Okay, sure, sure, you know, you do your, th you do you. You do you, Venipede. Alright, how much does this do? Alright, you know, half, that's, that's decent to a KO. Alright, sure, you know, whatever. You, you miss with your 95% accurate move, whatever. This is a very unlucky run. This bodes very poorly for the future. I'm kind of scared. Yeah, you know, yet another example of that. The 30% chance to get poisoned on touching them. Sandile. Um, I'll just keep this in. This should one shot. No problem. Uh, with Intimidate, maybe it's a problem, but I'm pretty sure it should still one shot. This is a super effective stab razor leaf, and this thing has paper thin defenses. 
So the Sand Isle I got actually didn't have Intimidate, so it has the slightly better ability for um, for story mode, which is Moxie. Let me just uh, heal up here and just use an antidote. Fuck it, dude. No, no, no berries. Alright. Oh, it tells me I used my last one. That's cool. I like that. Okay. Uh, let me just show you guys right here. So the Dundee, Dundee over here, of course, Crocodile Dundee. He has the ability Moxie, which is after you knock out any Pokemon, you get an attack boost. So unfortunately, I have the probably the worst possible nature for Sandile here, uh, boosting attack and uh, reducing. Uh, sorry, boosting defense and reducing attack. That should be pretty much opposite. Well, you know, I Sandile has terrible defenses and very good attack. So lowering my best stat and raising one that I'm weakest at is definitely not uh, ideal. But you know, you you live with what you you live with the cards that you're dealt. So you know, what can you do, right? Let's take a look. Definitely not staying in against this. This is the only problem with Alvida is that there's so many things that force switches because it's four times weak to fire and flying. And uh, you know, in a Nuzlocke, luckily I, I do have, holy shit, that did so much damage. That was a resisted physical hit. Okay, you know, facade should be fine. Oh god. Okay, that was a crit, thank goodness. Yeah, this thing is known for its like sky high attack stats. Like when it was first announced, it and its uh, evolution, they it was heralded as going to be like the next coming of the the most broken Pokemon in the game because its attack stat was like like unheard of for a non legendary. But it turns out that it's slow enough to be easy to handle, and it ended up not even being in like a top tier Pokemon. It was just a, a middling strength one. But of course, whenever you get hit by one, it's always really scary. Like you saw there, Holy's defense is actually like very, very good as well. But that thing's attack is just insane. Like a resisted hit even, Jesus. Oh, yeah, sure, bicycle too. Nice. Motorcycle in the desert. Sure, you know, you think you're cool, no problem. <laughs> Shirtless, like open shirt and everything. This guy, this guy's a god. Like, you don't fuck around with people that are that hardcore. Zubat is just fodder for my holy. Don't flinch me, please. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I should just stop calling these things. Like, I think I think I'm a little bit part of the problem here. Alright. This should one shot, no problem. Yep. Good stuff. <laughs> I like how Zubat's uh, death sound sounds like a sad version of its uh, of its switch in noise. Alright, I don't have anything good to take this on. I'm probably just gonna send an Alvida here. Timber is the evolved form. Oh no no, that's the, the the basic baby one still. The next one's called Girder because it, it holds a steel beam. Uh, I don't remember what those things are called, but I feel like Girder like is a pun for them somehow. Like Timber is holding a big wooden beam, right? So let's take a look. Okay. All right, how much time have we been spending? All right, this seems like an okay time to end the episode actually. Most of this was just battling around. Not much to discuss because it was just um, me fighting a lot of stuff. Grip cloth. These are really weird items. Okay, I'll fight this last guy first. Okay. Wow, this root is really huge. Holy shit. There's like a double battle down there too. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to, to call it quits here and uh, pick it up another day. Yeah, okay. You know what? Whatever. You, just, just rub salt in the wound. Remind me of, uh, of what I had lost. Well, I'm not sad, because uh, Holy definitely is better, but, you know, I would have liked to have Steve around as well. Steve is a cool guy, you know? He, he never did anybody any harm. He was always a kind-hearted team member, tried to lift everybody's spirits. He didn't deserve the, the dog's death that was sent to him, or I guess, you know, the pigeon's death, whatever. All right. All right, so we're going to call it here. Uh, once again, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, you know, I, I always appreciate reading comments. I reply to everyone. And, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Thanks.